I'm Kev Care, Mr. Cunt. Welcome to Automobilista. I haven't seen this um, channel for a while. As we're attacking the 15 lap race around the Interlago circuit. The newest vehicle which got added to the sim. The last big update which made this sim go to version 1.49. Just one more big update before Reza Studios, the Museum Studio, who make this sim. Say goodbye to it. Move on to the next highly anticipated project. As we made our position at the start, we could make another one go around the outside. And up into a bit ambitious to try and make, try and get into seventh. But in this race, we're against 100% opponent strength, 100% damage, and they're on medium aggression. I had it on high in the practice race. I was just getting chopped off everywhere. It was not fun at all. So over medium aggression, they will attack, but also defend a bit more fairly. It's going towards the end of the first lap. But the vehicle we're driving, probably mention that shouldn't I is the Metal Muro AJR prototype only came out this year only got developed this year only got added to the game in the last five days I say that it's already one of my favourite cars in it we've gone to the second lap made up compositions on that opening lap that's not too bad hope can push towards the top five is our goal hope to be getting to a rhythm in this race. We've got to watch out for the tyres near the end as well. Rotation of the vehicle, make sure we're not steering too much. Braking too hard with these tyres. Very easy to do that. Just take it a bit gently on this second that. Try and keep in touch with the two in front. As in this like the top five, we're trying to get away from the field here. Going to the middle set is very tricky and under braking I'm still not the best in this machine or in anything. Braking is really my big downfall overall with the being quick. I have a thunder foot, a dead foot. It's so almost going to the back. The seventh. I seem to have got a very good middle set so on this lap. Don't want to be touching the curbs though. The curbs are death. That was very much the case early on as well in this since very much this picture around here and into Lago as well. It does improve the patches. But it's not too bad now. But again, you don't want to be touching the curve too much though. Because we've got around half a second gap in front, just under half a second gap behind. They're getting the slipstream no, to get to the 25s. That's two seconds off the pace though of my fastest. That. It looks like someone tried to dive down our inside having that slit stream, but you hold them off. So let's talk about this machine. That's what we want to do in this video, in the game, in real life as well. Talk about Automobilista. Let's go away. I mean, I said this sim's coming to the end of its life cycle of updates. There's one more big update to make it version 1.5 and that will be it. Rooster Studios have their highly anticipated next title. I say it's highly anticipated, we've been waiting for it for years. Before Overstock, after Stock Car Extreme ended, it would be, oh, that. They're gonna just ease back, save everything. They had a crowdfunding campaign for the next project, but then that became Automobilista. And also from that crowdfunding project as well, some of those funds are going towards the new Reza, what was called 2017 project back then. Well, of course, it's going to be 2018 at least. Possibly 2019 before we fully see that sim. I'm very much looking forward to what they can do. It's Reza, definitely one of my favourite game studios around with how they've handled this game, how they've handled this process. But this machine we're, we're fighting nerdy parts of this race as it start to get into the river now temperatures up on the tires obviously starting to feel good we're getting into the river as well it's a more AJR prototype it was developed by a small Brazilian company 
in quotation marks. So they started building carts in the 80s and 90s. But then, in the late 90s, early 1000s, started to make prototypes, including the Metal Mirror MR18, which is also in this sim. But I never really got on with that car in this sim. Now, at first, it was very difficult to drive, especially at low speed. Very tricky and very weird and in as well at times. But we use it again. I patched that. Done a good job updating the vehicle from what I hear. I haven't actually driven it since so it's had all its updates. So there might be the next video of what I'm over this and just to compare the MR18 to this AJR. But I competed in Brazilian endurance events. It was very successful as well for over a decade. What updated to this machine. Because so once again, we've got about someone going trying to go around our outside this time. This NRS, but we hold on and we're dropping back in. It's like from seventh. We've got to get, got to get a hurry up one. That is not how to do it. Because we do finally lose eight. Right in the slipstream here, you really got to be alongside in these machines to make moves. Well, not quite alongside, we take a look. We dive. Well, that was a bit clumsy. We make it through. Even if that was way too aggressive from me. I'm going to be making moves like that. Well, you can see we've lost another second on this lap. With the 100 cent damage, we might be understeering as well. We might damage the side of the vehicle. Let's see how we get on in the next couple of laps to the halfway mark. My well, Metal Mirror, as I said, MR18. Never really got on that car. The same, but in real life, it's fantastic. As in this, I saw going around our outside again. Go around the outside. Free wide. So we're free wide. So we're holding up a pack behind. And then with the MR18, the Ocean Crew Steep Metamora MRX, which is a bit like the Radical. It's very popular in lots of simulating games such as Vorza and no iRacing. A very powerful little thing. But in this year they came with this new prototype and with the MR18 it's a bit more of a traditional idea on how to develop that idea. This AJR though, but with a new philosophy. And it looks fantastic does this machine. I've definitely got to try that in the thumbnail and and a replay at the end. There we go, the tyre's already starting to feel a bit. Using the rear slightly. So it's holding that gap in front and behind. Gonna be no man's land at the moment. But this AJR, a new process throughout all the previous processes to come up this new idea with this new machine. So it's te really tested at the beginning of this year to be making its race debut this year as well. And in the beginning of the process, this car had a Honda Turbo in the back, which produced 550 brake horsepower. And because this is not an ACO prototype, aka an LMP3, LMP2 or LMP1 machine, then they could really push around here what they could do with it. You see that in the Starlin. You see that this is made for customers as well. This machine competes in the Brazilian Endurance Championship. You're going to have to take off like those side, side wings over the wheels and make it look what you want to do. Just looks aggressive this machine. It is fantastic. That's around halfway through this race. We're not making much progress, are we? Might get a bit low in the second half of this race. As we get 
as we push. And of course, we've got a bit of a train behind, it seems like, as well. So they're getting some beautiful strip stream down this front stretch. We've gone to the eight for that. We're only setting times, and the 126 is not very good. With the AGR, the car has NMP3 spec gearbox, NMP2 spec brakes, and it weighs 80 kilograms less than the NMP2 machine. That was a great time for bonus to take back eight. It's almost going to the back of them. Taking a wider line, that was actually a bit better through that corner. Right. It's all very slow for the right hander though. You're getting very slow into the next right. For some reason the blue machine being very slow in this middle sector, but maybe get his act together down the straight. There we go, he's already pulling away. This machine weighs 80 kilograms less than an MP2 machine. It is incredible what, how much they've packed it into this, how much power it's got. What they've been able to do about being an ACO prototype. No, much like the Radical and other companies. Well, I said it competes in the BZ Endurance Championship. That was his aim, and in the summer during testing, the switch power the units or engines from the Honda Turbo to the Chevrolet V8, and this is the first time the car I'm driving in this race. And that's because they weren't getting the right bit, and they wanted a bit more torque as well. And in the game, at least, in this sim. This Chev Chevy is the configuration creation which produces the most horsepower. As going back to real life, let's wrap that up before we get into the sim stats with this machine. So competing in the Zen Endurance Championship in the three hours. Tarumba. Grab pole in that race. I well, didn't begin, but it was one of its first races. Only done a handful. Grab pole, the guy who was in too high a gear at the start, so he dropped back a couple of places. There were three patches of rain during the race. It's all out, break ourselves into center S. Really struggling this race. I'm not sure if we are damaged or I'm just driving rubbish. It probably the latter honest but well, despite those issues the AGR won its first race came through with victory and at this time is preparing or has competed in the 12 hours of Tarumba at the end of the season there we go chucking the car in that's a bit better So we're very much looking to follow this vehicle's progress over the next few years in the Zoom Insurance Championship. So we're getting hit right inside. So in the sim, driving the Chevy V8 version. Oh, we've been here. What a red prototype. Awesome ride. Thanks for that. We're in the final third of the race. Now we've run wide. Gotta cover the inside line. It's gonna be a bit peak tong this race after the superb first couple of laps. Because once again we're being hit. Look at that 27. Hold your line. Keep left. Clear. We just about hold on tonight. I thought a top five would be target at the beginning of this race, now it's the top ten. We're in the sim, this car comes in four engine configurations. I'm driving the Chevy V8, 
Due to 524 brake horsepower the most out of the four. So it feels a bit like a box sometimes during the corners compared to the other configurations. Such as the Powertech V8, which is the vehicle I've driven the most, which I set up 23.8 with. Definitely use it to the most. The other hand is not massively different, it's just time-wise I'm much quicker with the Powertech V8. But it only produces 484 brake horsepower, the least out of the four configurations. Then you have the Honda Turbo, which produces just over 500 brake horsepower. The same with the Judd V10. It's fantastic seeing that you've got four different engine types. This machine in this game, you can just basically drive the one you would like. I probably wish I drove the Powertech V8 now, compared to the Chevy. Even though I'm getting good straight line speed, or at least I did before we got into a couple of inches. Now I was six seconds behind the guy in front. Because they're about to set a 126.6. We should be setting 24s at least this race to be competitive. And now we can't even break for the center S. So on the 12th that and the car is really hurting. At this moment in time, I'm hurting as well. Just driving this machine. I wanted to do much better this race. So I know that I'm actually am decent at soon games well. I haven't crashed at least. I guess I'm waiting until the final lap for that, aren't I? There I go, jinxing myself. But it's fantastic being back in Automobilista. And good point as well, as I said, near the end of the game's kind of update cycle. Nice cycle with Risa. Got lots of content, definitely the best bang for buck sim around. I will always say that. I always have said it about Automobilista. <laughs> always will until Reese's next project will probably have more in it or well, at least I'm hoping we got these prototypes also had a new circuit added in the last update as well and this is a fantastic driver one of my favorite sims work driven as a once again round my right hand side Got the defend again into the center S. So this for battling. May not look it, as you mostly just see me getting round when the car has gone on the side of me, but definitely I'm bad. I can hear it from the spotter left and right. The spotter wasn't even in the game. Last time I played this, the sim, sorry, I keep mixing the terms. There's gonna be lots of pitchforks on them. Can't really, but There's been so much added since I last drove in this sim. Now the UI is different. Graphics are definitely improved. Hand improved. As well, it feels like a couple of vehicles that I've had a right to try as well as we go wide into the right hander. Really are backing up. With just two laps to go after this one. We really are crawling to the end. There we go, let's try and get a good run out this corner. Because they used to be consistent pace rides in the 26s, it's just abysmally slow. But to what I've driven before as well in this car around this circuit, I said 23s and 24s. And now we're just setting for 26s in it, so. Because there's a car right alongside me. We hold on this point, I'll take that. And all of that curve that you can see for the curve, I do so do love that. And of course, they go almost 10 seconds behind eighth now. Where's our pace this race? That's all. Oh, red car bashes down the inside and in. Pompey doesn't accelerate away. Thanks for that. So we're going to dive it down the inside into the right. We make the move. We may be slow, but we've got some fire this race. So as I've been saying, we've all made this. I'm very much enjoying being back in it, and of course, going to enjoy making content for you folks as well. And enjoy getting back in the Sims as well, having the wheels set up properly now. At my desk, I can actually do that and 
driving sims all the time now with iRacing. Can't wait till the new season's kick off. Can't wait for more online races on that as well. We've got a couple of new pieces of content as well from that sim. That is iRacing. It is just a black hole for your money. You get your paycheck, it goes into that sometimes. So I'm not looking forward to that aspect of iRacing, but the best online service around that you get. In racing, games, very much looking forward to that aspect and having some good battles online, of course. Come and take some racing, showing that off to you as well. Watching or Mobilista, there's our Factor 2 as well. Got to really explore that a bit more. I've only really driven it for that Formula E content. There's always tried to dive down the left again. Prepare for that to go. We're holding on. It's 15 for that. I'll wait to see the train we've got behind me in the replay. <laughs> but then there's also a race room racing experience. Going to be bringing you content from that game soon. Or sim. Been following that sim for a long time since it got announced when it was sim bid and now it's Sector is it 3 9 tail or Sector 3. I always get them confused between the R Factor 2 and Race from Racing Experience, folks. There's also Simbid UK, which is making GTR 3 as well. They've just had it, GT3 cars too. Race from Racing Experience, I might show that off as well. But I bought so much content for that sim as well, I didn't realise how much content there was in that sim, it's incredible. So I can't wait to show you Race from race experience, and it is also set of course. I'm having difficulty getting the game set up though. It works perfectly fine for me. It's just getting the car to get away. I'm not sure if it's a bug and having to explore that. I mean, they have just installed the game, will set up per perfectly fine, but then when I get into a session trying to accelerate away with the car, it doesn't work. So, yeah, maybe got to explore that and see what the issue is there but I hope you enjoyed this race round into the Argus with this Metamura AJR prototype I have enjoyed it even though I drove really poor there dude. my pace is what just was not there had some good battles though with our opponents you see they've improved as well from what I last remember they were kind of disappearing slightly if you're battling but you saw they battled back gave me a couple good bashes as well whether the damage machine the second half of this race but it was good fun that's all I, that's all I expect from race I'm definitely not the fastest around probably one of the slowest people around to be honest but I just love enjoy driving especially now and the wheel set up you know apart from driving on the controller I like it with of course the bike games driving the controller but when it's four wheels of course I want to be driving with the wheel and of course there's WRC7, I've tried that a bit with the wheel, wasn't the best result so far. And I was watching the eSports final as well, a couple of days ago, or was it well, yesterday actually? Or did I forget in my time here, but... That guy who won it was a beast on the controller, so I'm not sure if that's just... The way it is, it's much better on the controller than the wheel. I will do some more testing on WRC7, find out, and then of course bring my review out as well. Vote for you for Christmas. That's really just going to cruise through the pit lane in it. So wave to all the students to right hand side. Let's just have a victory lap then. Shall we round into the Argus all by ourselves? Sign off from this video, but I also give you some replay as well. Show off these machines, show off the automobile replay system as well. It was pretty decent. Well, I remember, so we'll see how good it is now. The game seems to run pretty smoothly, too. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with WRC7, MotoGP17 rider career starts next week. I've got a lot to record of that to do this weekend. And then of course, other sims as well. As I said, race from racing experience. And you've also got iRace, and if I get a good online race, I might make that a feature, just my best online race from iRace, and I'll record that. We've got that live country. You also have R Factor 2 as well when I explore other 
circuits and cars in that sim as well and some of the mods as well I mean that's one of the aspects of our fact is always about search for the mods same with a set of course have a fun you get that going I want, of course I want to show it off too so yeah they have to get into some of the things for next year for this channel with more sims on it to end this year so that's our victory that hope you enjoy some automobilista action as we miss our pits pit spot by country mile but so now for watching and i will see you next time